Welcome to our guide on routine rental inspections at O'Brien Real Estate and how you, the renter, can be best prepared for the inspection. Let's start with the definition of what a routine rental inspection is and how often they are performed. Routine inspections are done as part of O'Brien Real Estate's responsibility to the property owner, which is to ensure the rental property is being cared for and that any repairs or maintenance issues are reported and addressed. In most tenancies, you should expect a routine inspection to take place two times a year. In Victoria, agents can make one general inspection in any six-month period, but not within the first three months of the original lease agreement. We will always notify you of an upcoming inspection and provide you with adequate notice and where possible this will be done at a mutually convenient time and day. As a renter, you're welcome to be present while a routine inspection occurs, but it's not required. Rental inspections are not a test to see how tidy your house is. In fact, they're designed to identify any problems that could require maintenance or repair and to ensure the property is being taken care of. An inspection will typically include the following checks. Ensure the property is being maintained in a clean and tidy condition. Check the grounds are being maintained in a clean and tidy condition. Things like mowing, weed removal and lawn watering. Ensure the property hasn't been damaged in any way. Confirm there are no more people living in the home than what you specified on the rental agreement. Make sure no pets are living on the property unless they're allowed to and identify any maintenance issues and ensure the home is being looked after. In most cases, the property manager will walk through the property and note down any problems to review when they return to their office. They will also note down any new damage they've seen at the property or things that could violate your rental agreement, like hiding Fido when your agreement says no pets. You might be wondering, how do I best prepare for a routine inspection? There are a few simple things you can do to ensure your rental inspection runs smoothly. Notify your property manager if there has been any change to your mobile number, bank details or email address. This will keep the lines of communication open. It will also make it easier to notify you if any problems come up during or after the inspection. If you have pets, please keep them secured during the rental inspection. Note down any repair or maintenance problems you notice in the lead up to the inspection and fill out the necessary maintenance request forms. It is a good time to pay closer attention to your home going through each room. In your living room, lights. Do all your lights work? Switch them on and off to double check. Consider looking at the light fittings for loose cables and make a note if you spot anything. Give all light switches a once over with a cloth to remove residue or leftover prints. Walls. The condition of your walls is important. If you're renting, small wear and tear style marks shouldn't worry you, but note them down. Look along the bottom edging of your wall for any rising dampness. Floorboards. While they're a nice alternative to carpet, floorboards can easily show signs of wear and can be expensive to fix. Checks for creaks by walking over your floor, but also have a look to see if your floorboards have started to come up at the edges. Carpets. Spills and stains are much easier to remove if they have been dealt with early. Now is a good time to see to any areas that could become stubborn over time. In your kitchen and bathroom. Sinks and plumbing. Have you checked your taps recently? It might seem harmless, but a dripping tap can add extra unwanted costs to your utility bills. If you have a dripping tap, it could be as simple as replacing a washer. When you turn the taps on, listen for any strange sounds it wouldn't hurt to check under your sink for possible leaks. Kitchen appliances and fittings. No one likes to clean their oven, but it's a key spot your agent will check. Open your stove, run your finger over the range hood and give the stove top an extensive scrub. If there's built up grease around these areas, your property manager will probably tell you about it in your inspection report. If your microwave and fridge were included in your property, open them and check their clean tiles and surfaces. It's all about the shine when it comes to your next inspection. Clean away any residual debris and scrub hard. Removing soap scum and mold will help to avoid unnecessary reinspections. This goes for your sink, mirror, shower and bathtub too. The toilet. Do an extra check around the toilet and bin areas. It'll give you an idea of how much love you're giving that area and what needs to be improved on. 
good opportunity to give your lure clean. The cupboards, the hinges of your cupboards and joins of your shelves in your kitchen and bathroom can catch food residue and grime. Your bedrooms. Walls and floorboards, just as you did in the living room, look at the state of your walls and floorboards. This will give you a good indication of how much love your bedroom needs. Consider giving them a little extra TLC where you can. Windows and doors. Open your windows and doors and let the air in. Check the handles and locks on everything where appropriate. Sliding doors and windows can easily fall into disrepair. General cleanup. Your landlord or property manager isn't likely to poke around in your bedroom too much, but giving it a good once over, throwing away any rubbish and wiping down exposed surfaces and putting your personal belongings away will give a good impression during your routine inspection. Looking outside the property's exterior. Cobwebs. Cobwebs can be a nuisance, but you must clear them ahead of your inspection. Sweep around the exterior of your property and clear any cobwebs away. Entrance doors. Are the locks and handles functioning properly? How's the fly screen looking? Dust or wipe down the doors if they need it. Garage. If your property comes with a garage, check the doors. Do they work properly? Ensure the whole space is kept relatively clean and well organised. Gates and garden. Now's the time to look for any non-human residents your home might be housing. If your property has gates or a garden, look over them as well. Make sure your lawn is watered and that any weeds are removed. Keeping your home in good repair will help avoid unnecessary reinspections and aid in ensuring a full refund on your bond at the end of the tenancy. Thank you for watching and listening to our guide on routine rental inspections at O'Brien Real Estate.